everyone! How are you today? I'm so happy to meet with you again! In this lesson, we're going to find equivalent fractions on a number line. Let's review how fractions can be equivalent. Uh -oh. A fraction is a part of a whole. But how fractions are equivalent? Fractions are equivalent when they show the same amount. For example, these two fraction circles show me the fraction 1 half and 3 six, but at the same time they show me the fraction 1 half and 1 third. For instance, the fractions 1 half, 1 third, and 3 six are equivalent fractions. Now we're going to see how do we apply this, but using an overline. As you can notice, this is a number line. In this number line, we can easily see the whole numbers, the numbers from 0 to 10. But remember that we are working with fractions, and fractions are pieces of a whole shape. So fractions are pieces of a whole. So in this case, we're going to use the space between 0 and 1 because we're going to be working with fractions less than 1, so we're going to place them in this space. By the way, if you need to know more about classification of fractions, you can watch this video. The link will be in the comments below. Let's remember that when placing fractions on a number line, the denominator, which is the number at the bottom, will tell me how many spaces, how many equal spaces the number line will have. In this case, the number line will have six equal spaces because my denominator is six. So we're going to put the 6 at the bottom and then we have to look at the number at the top which is the numerator and that number will tell me how many spaces i will count in this case i will count two spaces because my numerator is two so here is where i place my fraction two six and then all the other fractions now let's begin with the new content do you really think that when we have fractions with different numerators and different denominators, they are not equivalent fractions? Hmm, let's see. Remember that equivalent fractions must show the same amount. And when we're talking about number lines, the fractions must show the same distance in the number line. So we're going to place these two fractions in the number lines, and then we're going to analyze if they really show the same distance. Let's go ahead and do it. Here is the fraction one third. Here is the fraction two six. Does this fraction show the same distance in the number line? Yes, of course. So they are equivalent fractions. Let's see another example. In this case, this number line has two equal spaces. So the denominator must be two, very good. Now we're going to find the fraction one half. Let's locate the fraction one half, very good. This is the distance that one half shows in the number line. Now we're going to look at this number line and we're going to find a fraction that shows the same distance in the number line. What is that fraction? Very good, two fourths. As you can see, these two fractions show the same distance in the number line. So that's why they are equivalent fractions. One half and two fourths are equivalent fractions. Here we have another example. In this case, we're going to be working with the fraction of 5 tenths. According with the concept that says that fractions must show the same distance in the number line in order for them to be equivalent, what is the fraction that is equivalent to 5 tenths? If your answer was that there are no fractions equivalent to 5 tenths, that's great! Very good! We don't have an equivalent fraction for 5 tenths because there are no fractions in the number line below that can show the same distance as 5 tenths. What about this number line? Is 1 half and 5 tenths equivalent fractions? Yes! Very good! They show the same distance in the number line so they are equivalent fractions. And what about eight tenths? Do we have an equivalent fraction for eight tenths? Of course, four fifths is an equivalent fraction for eight tenths. As they show the same distance in the number line, of course, they are equivalent fractions. Superpowers, we're going to work on a problem. This problem says that Mason walked 3 six of a mile and Madison walked 
two half of a mile. Did they walk the same distance? Yes or no? And finally, we have to explain our answer. This activity gets harder because in this case, we're going to be finding the equivalent fractions in the same number line. And this could make everyone confused. Let's get ready to begin and let's activate the superpowers. The question of the problem is asking us if they walked an equivalent distance. So we have to find the fractions in the number line and then we have to see if these fractions are equivalent fractions so that we can know if the distance that they walked is equivalent. Let's begin by finding the distance that Mason walked. 3, 6. Here we have the fraction 3, 6. And what is the distance that Madison walked? Yes, Madison walked two halves. Here is the fraction two halves. Very good. Did they walk an equivalent distance? Of course, no. They did not walk the same distance. Here is the fraction 3, 6. Here is the fraction two halves. So, obviously, the fraction two halves takes more distance in the number line than the fraction 3, 6. Obviously, Madison walked more than Mason. We have finished for today. Very good. You did it great. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share so that your friends can also learn with my videos. Remember, have fun with math.